Hello, my name is Delisa Garcia and this is a short video tutorial on how you can quantify distances between objects in different, in different channels. So let's open Imaris. Um, from the arena we can select an image of interest. In this case I'm going to select this PTK2 cell We have a 3D image with um, four different channels, a red channel for kinetochores, green channel for microtubules, blue channel for DNA staining, and gray channel for uh, denacting. For the purpose of this video tutorial, let's say that we want to quantify the distances from the kinetochores to the closest microtubule. What we need to do first is to convert our data into a 32-bit data type. In order to do this, you can click in the More options on the right-hand side of Imaris, select Edit, and scroll down until you find the option change data type. Now we can change our image from an 8-bit to a 32-bit float. Click OK. Alright, so now we have a 32-bit data set. The next thing that you need to do is to build is, or is to segment the structures of interest. So let's start segmenting the microtubules. This is the surface that I built before. And uh, within the microtubule surface, we have different tabs. In this case, we can click in the tool tab, which is the last one and we can select the distance transformation function that we have in our menu. These are all functions that they have been written in MATLAB and implemented into Imaris. These functions are part of our Imaris XT module. Once you click in Distance Transformation and the function starts, a new dialog window will appear from where we can select two options. Inside Surface Object, this will calculate the distances from the borders of the green surface to any other object contained within our surface of interest. The Outside Surface option will calculate the distances of any objects outside the surface object into the closest uh, boundaries of the surface. Or in this case, the outside surface object function will calculate the distances of any, my, any kinetochore to the closest part of the microtubule. Click OK. Here we can see the progress bar. Once the function has finished, Imaris creates a new channel. This is the distance to microtubules channel. And it's not an intensity channel, but a channel which contains distance information. Now, what we need to do is to segment the kinetochores. For this, I'm going to create spots. You could have also created a different surface. And once we have our kinetochores, 
we can go into the statistics tab. Detail. And from specific values, we can select, for example, the parameter intensity center channel 5. Now, remember that our channel 5 is not really an intensity channel, but a distance channel. And therefore, if we select this value here, this means that the selected kineto core is at 1.92 microns to the closest microtubule. If we have the pointer in the select mode, we can also select kineto cores from our workspace, and this kineto core is at 2.92. 57 microns of the closest kinetochore. The distances are calculated from the center of masses of the kinetochore to the closest part of the microtubule. We can quantify also other distances like the maximum distance, the mean distance, and the minimum distance. We can also use the color tab for this case and select a statistics coded, which will allow us to color code the kineto cores in terms of the distance to the mic microtubules. So in this case, I will select intensity center channel 5. And now we can see the kineto cores color coded depending on the distance to the closest microtubule. So this is how you use the distance transformation function in Imaris. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to email me at delisa.cartilla.com. Thank you for listening.